In order for our students, staff, and families to be as healthy as they can be, we have to identify good stress and bad stress. After we identify our bad stress, we have to find positive ways to deal with it. One healthy way we can deal with bad stress is by practicing mindfulness. Mindfulness is paying attention on purpose to all of our senses and thoughts and feelings. We strive to be as present as possible and not let our minds wander. Some people practice mindfulness by meditating, but we can practice mindfulness in many different ways. Our biggest goal is to connect our mind with our body. The ultimate goal would be to completely clear your mind from anything not happening right now. We want to be completely in the present moment. Before you start your practice, you want to make sure you pick a time when you do not have to rush. Maybe this is in the morning before everyone else is awake and you have some time to yourself. Maybe you would like to practice before you go to bed so you can be relaxed as possible while falling asleep. You want to find a peaceful place where you won't be disturbed. I personally like to go outside while I meditate. It allows me to get out of the house and physically distance myself from all of my responsibilities and obligations. We can focus on that when we're done with our practice. I also like to leave my phone behind, or if I want to practice for a specific amount of time, I set a timer and then I put my phone on do not disturb. Once you're settled, we're ready to get started. I will walk you through three different exercises. You can choose the one you think would benefit you the most, but I always think it's nice to start by checking in with yourself. Why are you practicing today? What are you feeling? Are you stressed from work? Are you sad? Angry? How would you like to feel at the end of your practice? These exercises can last as long or as short as you want them to. When I was just getting started, my mindfulness practice would only last five minutes because my attention span was so short. The first exercise I'll go through is just a simple breathing exercise. This is my personal favorite, and when I'm practicing, I'll do this for up to 20 minutes, just sitting still and breathing. I like to breathe in through my nose for seven seconds, hold the breath in my chest for seven seconds, and then exhale through my mouth for seven seconds. And you can just cycle through this as long as you want. The second exercise, you bring yourself to the present moment by focusing on our five senses. So you start by noticing five things you can see. Then you notice four things you can feel. And that can be, you know, just feeling your clothes on your skin. You can feel the wind. You can feel what you're sitting on. Then notice three things you can hear. We have a lot of birds around my house, so I think I could just pick three different types of birds that I hear. Then you notice two things you can smell. And finally, notice one thing you can taste. And I think this is such a great way to ground yourself and really get yourself out of your head and focused on this current moment. Our third activity is pretty fun. So you can also practice mindfulness by doing something as simple as watching the clouds. Um, I like to bring, bring a blanket into my backyard and just simply look up at the clouds. You want to really focus on them and what's in front of you. You don't have to be looking for familiar objects or figures. You just simply notice the colors the patterns. Notice how your skin feels laying in the sun. And if your mind wanders during any of these activities, just gently redirect yourself to the present moment. This is a workout for your mind, and just like any other exercise, it'll be challenging at first, but it'll get easier with time. I hope you enjoyed this video and are able to find some stillness and peace in your day today.